I'm using Keyshot A, by the way, but it's like doesn't matter because I'm not I'm not utilizing like a fancy <laughs> fancy things. Of course, in Keyshot Eight and Nine, you can create fog and all the volumetric lighting, but don't worry, guys. I'm not gonna use that because it's like, oh, I need that. No, you can again. You can do it in Keyshot Six, all right. And in Blender, I'm using the eight point version, so I'm not utilizing fancy stuff either. So again, this is the this is the 3D model that I used. Um, well, this is not the 3D model. This is the the polygons and all the stuff that I used to assemble my scene for the one that you're seeing here um, in this particular project, right? Because it's not, oh, I did it by hand. No, I just used 3D, all right? So if I facilitate the process, that's that's super easy. But the trick here with these dudes is that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just using the same, well, it's very obvious, but probably for the ones that are not being trained in concept art or, or all the stuff, um, so I'm just going to explain the process that I've been using. So I know this is a visual illusion, right? So I need to sell the cinematography and the cameras and, and you know, like make things fancy and, and so on, just create beautiful compositions. But end of the day, what I'm assembling here is just an ugly, uh, ugly layout. You see like all my tiles, I just create like a simple base here, right? And I just utilize one of these model, which is like a simple model that I just did. Let me just select it. A simple model, you know, like this this kind of structure. And I just multi multiply around the, the whole scene, you know, like I just move it here and there, I just multiply it. But it's not about just multiplying, it's just the purpose with repetition of the same elements, I can just create a, you know, the illusion of you know, of continuity or, you know, like, or, 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 you know, like diversity, right? That is in the way how I present, it. you know, composition is about how you present things in the space and create the illusion of a space. But doesn't mean necessarily that everything needs to be connected accurately in real life. It's like, oh, I need to put these three kilometers away. That doesn't matter because you're selling a frame. You're selling the, the frame and you're selling the depth, you're selling, all of these, all of these values um, within the composition, right? So I, as you can see here, I'm just creating multiple cameras uh, because I like to create like different narrative, different story points. They're, they have a different narrative. Uh, for example, if you put the camera in this in this angle, meaning that I want to I want to establish a relationship that my character is is impulsive, you know. And I don't show entirely the the these structures, right? I keep it, I keep them in the mysterious form. Of course, now that you see them, it's like, oh well, okay, it's just like this, and all, nothing much. But that's a beautiful thing about cinematography that you just keep things hidden. You 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 in some way you just hide some stuff and you expose all the stuff, hiding and expose. That's that's the beauty of cinematography. You don't have to show all the jokes. Right, you just have to hold, you know, hide and expose. So what I'm doing here is just trying to find beautiful angles or interesting angles uh, for the point of view that is helping me achieve the cinematography, that is inviting me to the focal point, which is this tower in the in the very end, right? So that's what I'm doing with the with the cinematography, with the camera, trying to create this um, this kind of stuff. And as you can see here. Let me just put it in the no performance. I, I I like to share this mostly in Keyshot because it's just I'm just dragging textures and dragging things. It's super intuitive. In, in in Blender, I have to you know move nodes and all the stuff. But here is like super self-explanatory. And also I love Keyshot because of that. I just share with you my deepest love for Keyshot because of that. It doesn't doesn't mean that is the best software for that. Uh, actually, Blender is much better for this. But I just I just like to work intuitive. I just saw me last time. All right. Anyway, so this is just for, for all these polygons and all those things. Then if you start noticing the technicality, for example, for the textures, you know? So this is like a very simple tile texture. Um, I didn't download it on like a super high res or anything else, you know? I'm just, what I'm doing, let me just uh, unlock this guy. Unlock this guy, yeah. Just go to this texture. Boom, this texture here. 
Um, well, let's disable this texture. No more texture. Uh, no more texture. That's I want to show you exactly what I'm doing. So it's just like a flat surface, right? Let me just put a different azure uh, just to illuminate this much better because, well, I was preparing this shot to be more wintry, to make like a winter scene, but let's put more like a lighting situation that you can see what's going on here. Right. Maybe like less dramatic. I love SGRI, so it just helped me to, you know, I, I just customize them. I have them like maybe compiled from different projects. I, I just I just love them, you know. I don't want I, I don't like to have everything ensemble, like having the skies and because I, I just wanna have the the chance that everything is being layered and I wanna manipulate that. I wanna control that in Photoshop, right? Whereas if you go uh, in our software, I mean you can ensemble everything perfectly. But sometimes you don't have you don't have the chance to you know manipulate things independently in the way that for example you have like a parallax situation you can do it I'm not saying that you cannot do it I'm just saying that for me personally I treat this in this way like a set right I think I'm talking to many subjects at the same time but I don't want to get you get lost on this and 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 I know that some of the audience are like oh I'm an expert on this some of the audience may not be an expert of this so I'm just trying to just you know like do things very very straightforward and, and simplify, right? So I have my texture here and, and I said, oh, okay, I need like this to be like a snow or something. So you can easily go um, to this like bridge and you just have a lot of things, you know, you have like, like okay, you have your 3D assets, but you also have like a, some nice surface, right? But again, I'm just imagining that you have you can download the texture here. You know, like you have like a, whatever you want. Also, you have, you have a snow here. Let me just show you. You have snow here, right? So it's like you have like all the textures available for you to play with, everything, every color, all the stuff, right? But what I'm doing, for example, in this particular example here it's not that oh you have have the bridge and you have all the luxury all of this if i don't have bridge or i don't have the textures available or, or handy you know and you have to do this you, I, i'm talking about time efficiency all right i'm not talking about personal work that yeah i have all the time in the world and i have all of these available i'm so lucky oh look at me you know i don't have this so i, I would just easily go you know like let me just show you my references here I ha these are my reference for these particular projects. So I just, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just saw like last week, I have like different folders compiling my different references, just, you know, like to do stuff. So these are things that I just grabbed from the internet. I just uh, I put I ash rocks, you know, and there's a lot of things. Sometimes are high res, some, some of them are low res. Guys, I don't care because I already see what is the end end of this image you know the purpose of this image is like end of the end of the day i want to blend it um as a painterly kind of thing i just need to have a strong foundations right so i'm just using like low res internet you know like images there right and some of them they have like information some of them i can use as a blending uh elements in photoshop uh, some of them I can just mix and match. It doesn't matter. I just drag whatever caught my eye. Things that I say, well, that's cool. I like this. I like that. You know, it, it doesn't need to be a specifically like one image like, oh, this is the perfect image. And also I don't want to uh, interfere with royalties, right? Because I'm not going to use the entire image. I'm going to use a section that is spark my interest. That's important. Just for creating, for just for texturing purposes. Not like I'm going to utilize the full photo and that's mine. No, that's not the case. You're using this just for reference. You're using this just to, to you know, like to blend. You know, end of the day, this is just to help you with the foundation. Is that you have the photo of the sky? You don't want to use the literally the photo of the sky. You're just going to use it as a foundation because some people misunderstood the photo bash and all these kind of things. To oh, I just appropriate this is that this is my own image. That's mine. No, no, no. You just use that as a starting point. Same here. You know, you can either download this officially here, but I'm just assuming. Oh, we don't have this. We don't have the luxury. All these softwares, everything. Imagine that 
you just have what you have, right? And I just go navigate to internet. I say, oh, I just need this kind of like snow rocks. Simple as that. Something like this, right? This is extremely perfect. It's not a tile texture. If you are familiar with 3D, it's, it's really crappy for you to tile this on, a, on, a, on an object, right? But I want, the, I want something erratic. You know me, I want accidents, I want things to happen. I just copy here in my desktop. You see, the resolution is very crappy. I, guys, I don't care. <laughs> so I just, in the diffuse texture, which is this white, flat, boring thing, I just boop, put it here. And it's gonna start slowly this place. So it's like, oh, it's going over the place. And I start like, maybe I can just like scale this into the right proportion. And I, and I like to mirror this horizontal vertical. You can do it in any software. It's the same process, but I will, I'm doing this fast and, and, and very intuitive. So that's why I love it so much because I just do it this like that, right? So I just like start like, um, I'm just reducing the scale because it was too huge. And you can see the resolution is crappy, but look at the resolution, so pixelated here, Blah, so bad. But I don't care about this because end of the day, I, this is, I just need a foundation to start working on. All of the, all the end of the day, I'm gonna paint over all of that. So I, I just need a foundation, a texture that is gonna help me uh, in the beginning of the process. And I, I can also photo bash some elements here and there, you know? So what I'm trying to say, I'm not looking perfection when I'm working in 3D, because if I'm looking perfection one, I'm I'm con I'm, I'm taking a lot of time making this look so crisp and, and perfect and good. And end of the day, I need to submit an idea, a, a painterly idea. All right. If it's, if it's this to be like mean to be like um, uh, realistic, mm, yeah, I can still do it with this process, right? Because you know it's looking it's looking okay. You know you have to blur your eye a little bit, and it's like oh, it's looking the way how it needs to look, you know? I have some rocks here and there. I have like some density of empty areas with the snow and rocks. This is really cool, very juicy, right? And I can just now modify the angle. This is just like moving this in a, in a, in a surface. And then if you move that to an aerial view, um, let me just go to an aerial view of this. But you can see the tiles just repeating, you know, but I'm not looking the tiles to look good on this view. I'm just looking that this is just the tiles and then just like playing around with a low crappy resolution image. What I just need to do is like match this in the cameras that I want. You know, this is one of the cameras that I want. And look at this, this is looking great right now, even though that looks crappy. But if I just go away and look apart from here, it, it, it just is doing the job, you know? It just does the job and that's, that's what I need, right? So this is like something that I can work with. Uh, maybe if I change the camera, like a more central camera, it's still doing the job, you know? It's something that I can just like clean, I can just paint over. And it's not a big deal. So when, when you have like a when you have these kind of challenges in front of you, right? When you start in, in this business, you wanna achieve all perfection. You wanna make sure that everything is clean, everything is perfect, because you you have like fear that you're gonna screw up, right? But now try to develop something that is fearless. Like you have to see the big picture in your head. The big picture in your head says like. Okay, I don't care about these areas that are pixelated. I don't care about these areas neither because at the end of the day, I can just like blend those areas together with some brush strokes because my focal point relies always in the center or not always in the center. I, you have to understand that your focal points are always uh, elements that you have to focus on. So your focal point are the ones that really captures the essence of the detail and the blending. The rest is gonna be, um, you know, like, you know, like expand into a more like a 30 or 40% of detail, whereas the focal point requires like 100% of detail. So you have to constantly remind yourself that and visualize that. So in that kind of mindset, you don't have to worry too much about like, oh, it's gonna look perfect, the 3D. You don't have to worry about that right now, you know? It's more about just visualizing how this is gonna look. Hmm? 
Now for these towers, let me just um, take out the textures of these. 